me and you. Chocolate, strawberry flavored milk, so cherry. Seven days a week, any time of day. Yogurt and ice cream with all kinds of cheese that are good for you and me. Move to you. Don't you know cows love you? Milk and yogurt, ice cream and cheese are good for me and you. Well, kids, we've had a great week, and I'm so proud of all of you. Now we're ready for our new lessons on nutrition and good eating habits. Unfortunately, I have to go out of town for a couple of days. So Principal Bovis and I have arranged for a very special substitute for you. Oh, oh, what's the matter? Do we have to have a substitute? Yeah, do we? Oh, I think you're in for a big surprise. Now I want you all to pay close attention and help her teach you some wonderful things about food and health. Her name's Ms. Moo, Mary Tyler Moo. <laughs> Ms. Moo, and I'm here to bring the moo to you. <laughs> now, some of you may be a little surprised, but believe me, I can teach you lots of brand moo things about health and nutrition. <laughs> For example, do you know what this is and what I can do with it? Looks kind of like hay, Ms. Moo, but what can you make with hay? It is hay, Bradley, and with the addition of a moo or two, and help from my friends on the farm, you'll see how important hay is in becoming milk. Now here's my favorite, corn. The farmer takes the whole corn stalk and grinds it into corn silage. Mmm, yum, yum. And with the addition of a lot of water, a little digestion by cows like me, it will turn into milk. And it can also become other products in the milk group, like cheese, yogurt, even ice cream. Now, each moo day on the farm begins very early. Special attention is paid to the little baby cows. Veterinarians are like doctors for cows and other animals. My vet is the best because he takes such good care of us. The farmer and the vet, they make sure we're happy and healthy. The farmer and his helpers give us new hay and clean our stalls. Then we get our morning milking. If it's a nice day, we may go out to graze. At the end of the day, it's back home for a nice, refreshing cow wash. And then more milking. Our milk is never touched by human hands. In 1878, Anna Baldwin invented the first automated milking machine. There's 25 pounds of milk on this tray of half-pint milk cartons. Jake, would you go get it for me? Do you know that the average cow makes over 25 pounds of milk twice each day? Awesome. Wow, it's um way heavy, Miss Moo. That's OK, Jake. I was just trying to make the point that each and every living cow is a hard-working milk maker for making the milk products we love. I get it, Miss Moo. 25 pounds is a lot of milk to carry here around. Tell me about it. <laughs> Miss Moo, how many cows are there? Well, Gina, there are over 9 million dairy cows in the United States alone. And if you stack them all up end to end, they'd reach nearly 14,000 miles high. Now, of course, some of them would have to be wearing spacesuits. <laughs> Right, I guess that's how the cow jumped over the moon. Lucian, you're not going to believe this. OK, the grains that become dairy products are like the best, as far as nutrition goes, right? So what do we get out of it, Miss Moo? That's a good question, Jake. Does anybody know the answer? I think so. There's lots of calcium and protein, vitamins and minerals. Yes, Brittany, but I think Jake's question was, what do kids get from all of that? Wait, I know. According to nutrition experts, children need three to four servings of milk each day to grow strong bones and teeth. It's time to play Moonopoly, the game where you can win dairy snacks by knowing your milk group facts. OK, it's a two-part question. First, does chocolate milk come from chocolate cows? No. Part two, 
How can chocolate milk taste so good and be so good for you too? They had the same protein and vitamins as regular milk, but added chocolate flavor to make it taste like too great. <laughs> How does milk become cheese for delicious cheese snacks? Okay, the milk solids are separated into curds and whey. Just like little Miss Muffet who sat on her tuffet. <laughs> then the curds are processed into whey cool cheese products. The cheese maker has to stir up the curds or milk solids, squeezes out the liquids, and add healthy ingredients and flavoring. And after lots more stirring, in a few days, he gets cheese. Mmm. That's why it takes 10 pounds of milk to make one pound of cheese. Yeah! nutrients are in yogurt. I know it has protein, vitamins, and lots of calcium for healthy bones and teeth. What makes a smoothie so tasty and nutritious? Milk or yogurt is mixed with fruit for maximum nutrition and great taste. The game everybody wins! Ah, oh, yeah! Move, give me, move, give me, move, move, give me, move, give me, move, give me, move, give me, yeah. Now we all know it starts with a cow. Hi there. You gotta have a farmer who knows how to help her. You gotta milk her. Step her up to a milking machine. Keep it clean, clean her star. Make her all very happy, neat and snappy. Oh, yeah! Feed her lots of hay. Cause that's the way. Milk while milk, I'm drinking it. Milk while milk, I'm thinking it. Milk while milk, a cow's making it. Milk while milk, I'm taking it. Wild milk, oh yeah. Comes in flavors, pick your favorite. Cows make the milk, you gotta love her. It don't matter if you're a sipper or a chugger. You're gonna drink it, you're gonna think it. Tastes good, like it should. In a carton, bottle or jug, it's so much fun to chug, chug, chug. Now what you gotta have? Milk while milk. Buy some, in the store, get some more. Cheese, if you please, white or yellow. Could be sharp, could be mellow. Ooh, <laughs> cheese, fun to eat, you're gonna want a snack on these. <laughs> now what you gonna have? Cheese for cheese. What makes you wanna laugh? Cheese for cheese. Cheese for cheese, I'm watching it. Cheese, hot cheese, I'm pouring it. Cheese while cheese, cow's making it. Cheese while cheese. I'm in Ayrshire and she's a Holstein. What do you have, Brittany? I have pizza with extra cheese. Don't you just love cheese? It's good and good for you. What else did you get? I have veggies, fruit, and of course, milk to drink. I see you have tacos, Bradley. I sure do. First, I like to top my taco with lettuce and salsa. Then I add the extra cheese. I also have some strawberries in my favorite chocolate milk. What do you have, Lindsay? Chicken fingers, a nice fresh salad, grapes, and ice cold milk. Milk to you, don't you know cows love you? Milk and yogurt, ice cream and cheese are good for me and you. Milk to you, don't you know cows love you? Milk and yogurt, ice cream and cheese are good for me and you. It's time to play Pyramid of Power. 
the game that tests your knowledge of the food groups from clues given by your teammates. Go! Pancakes and muffins, breads and bagels, cereals and pasta. Oh, oh, it's the grain group. Yeah! Uh, these are full of vitamins. Apples, uh, strawberries and raspberries, grapes, oranges, pears and kiwi. Oh, fruits, um, the fruit group. Yeah! These are full of vitamins and minerals. Um, broccoli, a uh, spinach salad, carrots and peas. It's the vegetable group. Group has protein for strong bodies. Um, hamburgers, peanuts, and cashews, chicken nuggets, ham, even eggs. Oh, it's a meat group. Yeah! This group goes great with all the other groups. Um, cheddar cheese and yogurt, chocolate milk and ice cream. The milk group. Yeah! Congratulations, you win. That's right, everybody wins with the milk group food. Kids, how are you? Did you have fun yesterday with Miss Moo? Yeah! Yeah, it was awesome. She taught us all about the dairy process. We even learned math with half pints and pounds. She also taught us some really cool science, too. And don't forget Moonopoly and Pyramid of Power. We had so much fun, Miss Davies. And what about the music and dance? Bradley, did you bring the music? Oh, yeah, Miss Davies. Would you care to dance? I mean, we have some smooth new moves. <laughs> Thank you, Bradley. Thank you all. I knew you'd learn some moo things from my friend, Miss Moo. <laughs> Love you. 